In uh, this tutorial, we will create a small model for a restaurant business. So to create a new model, we go to the file menu and select empty model. Uh, when, we get, when we do that, we get the smallest possible model. It's just one anchor. Uh, anchor represents uh, business entities that we have. So uh, in order to edit the properties of this anchor, I go to the context menu and type in a name for the anchor. So since this is a restaurant business, it's probably good to have a restaurant uh, anchor as well. Anchors have something called a mnemonic. This is used to identify them uh, in the model. So these, have, these mnemonics are two-letter mnemonics and they have to be unique within the model. The identity is the data type for the surrogate key that we're going to use. So let's make it an int like that. So we have now our restaurant uh, anchor. But probably we need something more than just uh, keeping track of our restaurants. Um, at the restaurants, for example, they are serving different types of food. So uh, let's make a uh, something an anchor that represents that. So what we do is to go to the context menu again and uh, select one of the editing operations. Uh, in this case, add a tied anchor like that. So here we have a new anchor with uh, no name at all. Uh, so we need to edit this one as well. Um, when we serve it, it's some kind of dish we serve at the restaurant, um, like that. We have a dish anchor as well. So now we have two anchors, one for the restaurants and one for the dishes that are served there. Uh, let's add some attributes as well. Uh, the restaurants probably have a name, so we need to add uh, an attribute uh, here uh, that we also need to edit. You can see that the name here is red and that means that um, there's still something left to do before this one is valid. So uh, I need to edit this one. This was a name. Attributes have a three letter mnemonic and these need only to be unique within the anchor to which the attribute is uh, connected. Uh, so this could be a bar or, or something like that. Um, the dishes probably also have names, so let's uh, add an attribute here uh, and call it the same thing. Uh, as you can see also, in between uh, the anchors we have um, a tie. This tie models the relationship that exists between restaurants and the dishes. Uh, by the name of the tie you can see that there's still something left here to do because it's red uh, and in this case uh, we need to um, uh, enter the different roles that the anchors play within the relationship so the dish for example um, is served at the restaurant and to edit the roles, you can see that I actually clicked on these small circles that are available on the tie edges. Uh, if I click it, you can also see that uh, it's possible to do an editing operation called toggle identifier. This indicates whether or not this anchor is part of the, ident uh, the primary key for this uh, tie. Uh, and since this is a many-to-many -many relationship, uh, we... Um, both of them needs to be part of the primary key. So we're done with the first small steps uh, when it come, uh, in editing this model. We will build further on this model in the next tutorial.